To our 11 uh, participants, welcome. Good afternoon. We're just waiting for a few more. Welcome to our um, ECQ edition of our this uh, of our disease prevention uh, during the cervical cancer month awareness. So, Doc, our participants, so those that are attending, are not really Rotarians. Uh, we, uh, we we've opened this to the public because I think this is uh, in general a concern of a lot of our uh, fellow citizens. So we also have a uh, young uh, generations, uh, uh, Malarotoractor type. Welcome to the call and to, of course to uh, other clubs in our district. Thank okay, you. thank you, Michelle. Thank you. thank you, Michelle. Good afternoon, everybody. And um, I'm very glad to see a lot of uh, people and friends who actually attended uh, this uh, webinar on uh, cervical cancer. And uh, I guess I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you also, Michelle, uh, the president of the Rotary Club of Manila Metro for practically inviting me and getting this opportunity to, for me to be able to shed light on cervical cancer. You know, uh, this topic is, you know, quite um, very close to my heart, you no know, cervical cancer, not because I have cervical cancer because I'm a, I'm a male guy, but it's mainly because it's one of those cancers that can be preventable can be preventable. In fact, I think it's the only one, no? If you, the good feeling about this, because I am an oncologist by, by profession, is that when you see these patients in a precancerous stage, meaning hindi pa cancer, no? Precancerous pa lang, no? When you get them from cervical cancer screening, you get them to, uh, uh, mo, then you do cryotherapy, you do other forms of treatment, you have practically saved a life. That's how important this is, no? So uh, again, thank you. Uh, without much further ado, I'd like to start. No, so first, first things up, what is cervical cancer? No? So parang nasa classroom tayo, and then a boy said, uh, Hi, ma'am, ako po, uh, sir, ca cervical, uh, cancer of the cervix, which is, which is practically correct, you know? But where is the cervix, no? So this is an illustration of, uh, uh, of the anatomical body of a female. So this is now their uterus, no? Wait, I'll just get my pointer, no? So, so you can see, no? So this is the cervix. It's actually part of the uterus, no? And it is the one that is connected to the vaginal canal, no? So this is now the spear speculum when people do, when uh, females do pap smear. And then uh, in front, you can see it up front, this is again the speculum. This is the cervix. So, okay, that's it. Okay. Worldwide, uh, cervical cancer represents the fourth most frequent cancer in women. And this data was mentioned or reported by the World Health Organization. Locally in the Philippines, it's the second most common cancer in the Philippines in women after breast, reported by the Department of Health. In 2018, the Philippine statistics said there are about 7,277 new cases and about 3,807 deaths. No? That tant amounts to about 11 Filipino women dying each day. Kung hindi pa kayo takot, let's assume that's about roughly about one Filipina dying every two hours. No? So what is the cost? Now, the cost of cervical cancer is in 99.7% is human papilloma virus. No? Again, it's a virus. No? Um, there are about uh, 150 types no, of viruses, but hindi naman lahat yon will give you cervical cancer. No? Majority, majority of this virus will just be asymptomatic wala kang symptoms dadaan lang sa meaning to say you will have it you will have the infection but it will go it goes away in 6 months to about 2 years while some some of the types have uh, presents like warts no kulugo no and then others they proceed to cervical cancer so that's hpv now it, it's kind it's kind of far fetched no kasi imagine virus cancer para ang layo no but but in, but that's true, no? It's really true. Ninety nine point seven percent. So how does it happen? Again, just to reiterate, when you have that infection, you can have two things, one or two, no? This is the part wherein you have uh, asymptomatic, like I said, majority of these cases, no, uh, they will just go away in six months to about two years. Some of them will present kulugo or warts, no, while the others 
malas malas mo no if you have that high risk type of uh, of uh, of HPV because that will lead to persistent infection and that can cause DNA damage. Once you cause DNA damage and there is uh, uh, that cells will go out of control and that's the one that leads to cervical cancer. Okay, now. These are the types of human papilloma virus based on risk. On risk of what? Risk of developing cervical cancer. No? So, ang ibig sabihin nito, there are types that are masasabi nating low risk, no? like this. No? Uh, they rarely progress to cancer. Most of them produce genital warts. And they have an outward symptoms. Outward symptoms meaning to say, yung nakikita mo yung kulugo, no? And then that there are other high-risk types. They do not cause genital warts, however, but they lead to dysplasia. Ito yung changes in the DNA of the cells that leads to uh, abnormal cell growth, no? And that's the one that leads to cancer. Again, hindi mo malalaman to. Hindi ka pupunta sa doktor. Bakit? Kasi wala ka naman nararamdaman, no? Iyan yung mga dahilan bakit tumataas yung bilang ng ating mga cervical cancer dito sa Pilipinas. Now, I'm sorry, these are gross pictures, but this is reality. And I do not want to sugarcoat it at any rate. No? These are genital infections, just in case you wanted to understand. There are other infections also that are considered low risk. Like for example, yung sa kamay, yung sa lips, yung sa oral cavity, and then yung sa dila. No? And then there are also your high risk, no? Yung high risk mo, there, these are about 40, no? 40 in types or more, no? Uh, the scientists are still finding out the specific uh, details of that. The most common of which are the type 16 or the type 18, no? So this actually tantamounts to about 71% of all cervical cancer cases in the whole world, no? There are other eight types. Ito yung mga eight types. They represent about 20%. And you have 30 more types, no? 30 more types. Kasi sampu lang to eh, no? And you have 40, no? So you have 30 more types that only represents 9%, no? Okay. Hope that's clear. Now, cervical cancer lang ba ang nagaganap sa HPV? Hindi. No? HPV can cause other cancers as well. No? It can cause both in male and in female, mouth and oral throat cancer in 30%. Uh, are, are we good? Kasi I, I'm hearing wala daw silang makita. Is, is, that, is, that, is that true? Hello? Hello, Michelle? Hello? I can, I can see you, Doc. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we can see. Silver from, yeah, Silver Luzon, Sylvester can see. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think okay. we can. Okay, sige, sige. I think you can. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry I was bothered by the text. I do apologize for the, in, for the, uh, for the, um, for the commercial, you know. So anyway, um, again, for females, you have the genitalia, the vulva in 25%, vaginal in 80%. Cervix in 99.7%. In males too, no? Pwede, no? 50%, no? In both sexes also, the anal cancer, HPV causes 80, in 88% in both male and in female. Kung actually, if pagsasamasamahan mo to, you know, there's one common thing, eh, no? They are all, yeah, sakit ng tao. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oops. Uh, okay. Um... Okay, so how is HPV spread? The spread of HPV is basically skin-to-skin -skin contact. No, normally, normally, no, most commonly during sexual activity, either vaginal, oral, and anal sex. Now, there are myths that na daw yung HPV sa towel. No, whether that's true or not, these are the um, um, this, are, this is the statement according to the American Cancer Society. No? HPV cannot be get through hugging. Malamang COVID pwede pa. No? Now, cannot be get through holding of hands. Yes, that's true. Pero if the hands, however, went into the genitalia, touched the, the genitalia, and probably yung hand merong HPV, then you might be able to get uh, HPV infection. No? 
toilet seats, swimming pool, hot tub, sharing of food, and sharing of utensils, you cannot get the spread of HPV in these types. No? Now, <clears throat> what is the treatment of HPV? Ito maganda to. For the HPV itself, for the virus itself, walang gamot. No? But remember, the, the virus gives out effects. Ano yung effects? Yung mga nakikita mong mga, simto, mga, mga physical, exa, physical symptoms. No? Like for example, you have warts. Of course, there are treatments with warts. No? You have pre-malignant lesions like yung mga uh, lesions changes dun sa cervix mo. Yan, pwedeng gamutin yan. No? Of course, when you develop cervical cancer, no, the treatment depends upon the stage. No? Uh, there are those that are curative no? and there are those we call palliative or best supporting care. No? The important thing here is practically prevention. No? Pero how do you actually prevent it? That is the best question. No? One, you can prevent it through vaccines. No? We have three available vaccines in the Philippines. Uh, one is Cervarix and the two are Gardasil and Gardasil 9. No? Gardasil, Cervarix is made from the United Kingdom. No? It is bivalent. No? Ibig sabihin ng bivalent, it protects you from two types of HPV, you know, the type 16 and the type 18. If you remember, if you recall, ito yung pinaka most common na nagkukos ng cervical cancer sa babae, no? itong dalawang type na to. No? Uh, for Gardasil naman, you, we ha this is quadrivalent, meaning this is type 16, 18. These are high risk again. <clears throat> and then you have that type 6 and type 11. Ito yung genital white mo. So, pagka meron kang Gardasil, hindi ka magkakaroon. No? So, these are ed indicated in males <clears throat> and in females. No? So, this prevents cervical cancer and genital warts. Also, Gardasil 9, which is the newest, I am, just, I am not just so sure whether we have this drug available in this country, but this one is nonavalent. No? It protects you from 7 plus 2. 7 high risk and 2 low risk. Again, same thing, male and female. Okay, so if you were to inject Gardasil, you will be covered with 16, 18, and all this. So if the question goes, if you have, if you have HPV in, in, in injection ba, are you protected? Are you no longer expected to have a cervical cancer? The answer is no. Why? Because meron pa, meron pang natitira na potentially no, can give you cervical cancer. There are this subtypes, and remember, there are 30 more subtypes, although you can say these are rare, no? So, wala pang vaccine that can cover everything, no? Okay. I'll just take a sip. Okay. In any drug, you know, in any, in any medication given to, pe to human beings, there are always side effects, no? Any drug that provides benefit, there are always side effects, no? So, <clears throat> the, the side effects of uh, HPV vaccine can be ca categorized either through locally, general, or severe or distressing. Locally is just, you know, you, the symptoms on injection site. So normally these are the pain, the swelling, the redness, the stinging, the bruising, the bleeding, while general can be headache, fever, of course, GI symptoms, meaning uh, gastrointestinal like nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, sometimes syncope, which is parang hinihimatay, sometimes occasion associated with seizure-like activity and joint pain or arthralgia. Now, now, if you have anaphylaxis, meaning to say if you are allergic to latex or uh, let's say a yeast, no, uh, you might be able to experience allergic reaction. No? In very rare instances, you go to one in a, in a million in, uh, risk, you know, there were reports of severe distressing symptoms at, or adverse reaction towards vaccines. No? However, there are no compelling evidence no, to date to suggest that vaccine caused this uh, severe distressing symptoms. No? And it might be rather just a natural occurrence. No? When, you, uh, when you talk, when you, uh, in, in, a, in a statement by, made by the World Health Organization, as well as the Global Advisory Committee, Committee for Vaccine Safety, they said, HV vaccines were found to have favorable safety profile without clinical serious signals, uh, serious signals 
about your safety. Anaphylaxis and syncope, which is yung nahihimatay ka, are known adverse effects. Okay. <clears throat> A testament to the effectivity naman of HPV vaccine can be said of is can be said of Australia, no? Australia is the first country in the world to set to wipe out cervical cancer. They practically started in 2007 when they incorporated vaccines no, into their national immunization program where they initially vaccinated girls. No? Uh, they expanded in 2013 to cover boys. And in fact, they even improved their cervical testing from pap smear to HPV. No? Today, they are expected to, to wipe out cervical cancer in their country by year 2035. HPV vaccine is best given or earliest, no? the age that earliest you can give is about 9 years old. The latest is about 26 years old. No? Uh, but the best is below 13 years old. So the best time to give is about 11 and 12. Why? Be, mainly because during this age, no, you have a higher immune response no, to the HPV vaccine compared to the older individuals or even those more than 26 years old. That's why it's not given anymore. In occasionally, yes, uh, it might be. No? Now, as far as the, high, uh, the, the risk of developing cancer, no, it, they said that if you have HPV, definitely you have a high risk of developing cervical cancer. Oh, siguro, if you have multiple sexual partners, no, that also increases you, your chances of developing cervical cancer. Smoking. Smoking, in fact, was found out to be twice higher risk of developing cervical cancer than those people who do not. No? In patients who, have, are, who are taking oral concept, contraceptive pills, no, some research, hindi naman lahat, no, some research said that you, uh, you are uh, at high risk. No? But... Uh, more research into this, how and why uh, do you get that cervical cancer by using OCP? Uh, more studies are need to be indicated soon. Uh, okay, so another, another way how to prevent getting cervical cancer is by your, your cervical cancer screening. Sino ba dyan ang nagpa-cervical cancer screening na? No? I guess, you know, after this lecture, no? please, you know, I, 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 I hope you, you will get it this year. No? Okay. Now, the question a while ago, which I'd like to re-emphasize re is, if you have a vaccine, Gardasil 9, do you still need cervical cancer screening? No? Again, I mentioned to you earlier, no? there are 40 high-risk types of HPV. If you take in Gardasil 9, you're only protected 7. So, meron pang natitira. Again, coverage-wise, you need to. Protection-wise, no, in so far protection is concerned no, from cervical cancer. We do not know yet whether HPV vaccine offers long-term protection or lifelong protection. No? Hindi katulad ng polio, no? it's a lifelong protection pag nabigyan ka ng bakuna. No? For, for HPV, we do not know yet. Bakit? Bakit hindi nyo alam? Mainly because these drugs are bago lang. No? Uh, the first drug was Gardasil 9, started in 2016. So, the, the publisher, the, 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 the MSK said they can only guarantee up to this time, as evidence says, up to 10 years, while Cervarix 9 years, at yung pinakabago Gardasil 9, 6 years. No? Another thing is age. No? We said earlier that vaccines are only recommended up to 26 years old. Paano kung 27 ka na, hindi ka na bakunahan, anong gagawin mo? Antayin mo na lang ba? Of course not you start on cervical cancer screening. No? Now, tuwing kailan, mo ba dapat, tuwing kailan ka ba dapat magpapa-cervical cancer screening? Pag birthday lang ba? You know? Or whatever. No? So, these are, uh, this is a table shown to you. This is the Philippine, uh, local Philippine uh, recommendation by the PSCPC. No? And these are the American counterparts. I'd like to compare. No? So, for in, uh, in our case, if you have a cytology, cytology is pap smear. No? <clears throat> VIA is another different thing which I will explain to you earlier. The pap smear pala should be yearly. In the every two years, in the every three years, it should be yearly in the Philippines. No? If you need liquid-based, may I explain to you what is liquid-based, it should be two years. Whereas in, um, in the US or in other developed countries, 
they are recommending every three years. Why is that so? Is that fair or is that unfair? It's mainly because the, uh, this recommendation because was, was generated mainly because the cancer burden of cervical cancer is very high in this country. You know? And that's the reason why. Now, there are three, three types of cervical screening. No? So one is the cytology, another is the HPV DNA, and another is the VIA. No? Cytology is the one that is pap smear. Mamaya, I will explain. Uh, DNA is like parang yung coronavirus, no? Uh, I'm sure alam naririnig yun na to, RT-PCR, no? Uh, pero ito, PCR lang kasi DNA ang, ang, ang tinetest mo naman, no? So, yun. VIA is another form but this is mainly for low resource setting. What is low resource setting? In cases where there is no money, no uh, resources uh, like doctors, no? There are no uh, microscopes and everything, no? Actually, tayo, nandirito tayo sa area na to. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, just go back. Uh, I'd just like to show you a video uh, of uh, how pap smear is being done. No? So, yun. Yeah. So, you have the speculum. Then you will insert it in the vaginal wall. Uh, sorry, canal. <clears throat> then you open it up. Then you get this. Then you secure the specimen, no? Uh, get a specimen endocervical, yung sa loob, and then sa outwards. Ito, kung mapapansin mo, itong nasa labas, these are the brushes, no? Okay. Yan. Okay. So, once you get the specimen, you put it in a slide or you put it in a container. When you put it in a slide, that's what we call conventional, no? That's the, this is both pap smear, ha? I mean, this can be both pap smear and this can be both HPV DNA test kasi papareho lang naman ang sampling niyan eh no So uh, of course uh, yon no So once you do this you send it to a laboratory for that they, they will read the cytology Ito itong pap smear again I'm trying to point this out no it requires doctors two doctors mainly one an obstetrician and B a pathologist and also, this requires two visits, meaning to say, when you do the test, and secondly, when you get the test results, no? normally, typically one week after. Now, liquid-based is like pap smear too. It's, it's part pap smear too. However, you are given a container. Tapos may fixative na liquid doon sa loob. You, you, you put the specimen there, and then you send it to the pathologist. Or you can do this also, again, and you can send this for HPV testing. This one naman requires a different machine. Now, this is VIA, and I'd like to show you uh, uh, a video of how VIA is being done. No? Practically the same thing. No? But VIA, uh, from, the, from the word itself, it's visual inspection no? with acetic acid. So, you need acetic acid. Okay, so this is VIA. Now, later, I have a question for you. No? Why do you think the two women smiled? No? Yan. So there, you put a speculum, you get the cotton, you soak it with acetic acid, the cotton, and you, you do not get sample here. No? You just put in the acetic acid into the cervix. No? Like that. So that's the cervix. So again, ng acetic acid. Then, here's the question. Why do you think she smiled? She too smiled. And that, I will answer that in a while. No? Okay. It, it, again, it seems far-fetched no? uh, for people who are into technology. How can visual inspection? Isipin mo, just the mere fact na, na sinilip mo lang, alam mo na kung ito ay precancer, precancerous ba or carcinoma while pap smear gets a specimen. Microscope pa ang umaano. But yes, we can do that. If we can do that, what is the rationale? What is the scientific basis? No? And what does acetic acid do to the cervical uh, tissue? No? So this is the rationale. In normal cervical tissue, they remain unaffected. Kung normal yung cervical tissue mo, they remain unaffected upon the application of acetic acid. In contrast, if you have a damaged tissue, like for example, in cases where you have uh, precancerous or cancerous lesion, they turn acetowhite. Acetowhite is parang yung acetone nilagay mo sa kamay mo, no? Anong ibig sabihin? Namumuti. 
this is a good example, no? Yan, nung kita mo, uh, this is the cervix, no? Ito yung nilagyan nila ng pinahit nila ng acetic acid, no? and that it turns to acetoid. So that's that's it, no? So we have three types of answer, no? When you do a via, it can be a via negative, a via positive, or a suspicious of cancer. Let me just detail into this because later on, after this slide, I will try to give you an exam, no? I want to know if you are listening or not, no? Okay. So via negative, apa? This is the image, as you can see, there is no whitening of anything, no? Okay? Dito, via positive, kasi there is whitening. Okay? Here, there is no whitening, but look at this, the, 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 the image, no? This is the cervix, no? It's like a cauliflower, ulcerative, growth-like tumor, no? Tapos, pag tinatch mo, dumudugo. That's already suspicious for cancer. So, you need biopsy dyan, no? Now, there are parameters, no? Hindi naman ibig sabihin na muti bigla sasabihin mo via positive. It's not as simple as it is, no? Number one, you have to define. The first thing is you have to know your anatomy of the cervix, no? Um, the, the, the first is you need to know your old SCJ or your squamo-columnar junction. Ito yung border nung nasa loob na, na laman ng, ng, sa loob ng cervix mo and then yung sa... That's what we call the endocervix. And yung sa labas, ito yung sa loob, ah, okay? That's the endocervix. Itong, itong, itong nasa labas na to, that's the ectocervix, no? Normally, pag bata ka, itong old SCJ is somewhere banda rito. It's very near the, your, your os, no? Cervical os, yung, yung external os mo, no? Now, as you grow, no? Pag nag, nag, naglabas ka na ng bata, nagkakaroon na ng outward yan, no? Now, you have to know that first, and then you have to know your new SCJ, your squamo-columnar junction. No? Ang mga bukol kasi, they grow in this area. No? Itong nasa labas, pagitan ng old and new. And we call this TZ. What is TZ? TZ is transfer, transformation zone. No? That's where the area is. Okay? So, mamaya, exam kayo. No? This is a good example. No? So, ito yung cervix. No? Wala pa yung acetic acid, native, no? Wala pa, no? After nun, nilagyan nila ng acetic acid. So this turned out, may nagkaroon nakakita sila ng parang puti, malapit sa old, sa new SCJ, no? So what is this? This is via positive. Okay. There are exemptions to the rule, no? Yung loob kasi, yung pinakaloob, yung endocervix kasi na yan, talagang dapat puti, talaga dapat yan, no? Minsan, no? Because, uh, yun, so... In this case, these are immature cells. So these are benign, actually. No? These are benign. So this is via negative. No? Again, sa loob, again, that's the, you know, in the, inside the cervical os, no? external os. Uh, that's normal. No? That's benign. So that's via negative. Sometimes you are faced with tumors. No? Like, for example, these things. No? These are cysts. These are your Nabothian cysts. No? And then, ito naman, parang outward projection, parang... No, these are polyps naman. No? That, that's your endocervical. These are still via negative. No? Okay. Sige nga, let me check you. No? Can I ask you naman to check your, to, to, to take this exam? Okay. Isang question lang dyan. What do you think? Is this via negative or via positive? Iinom lang ako. <laughs> Okay, so here is the answer. This is via negative, no? Kasi wala naman, no? Okay. What about this one? What do you think? This is via negative or via positive? That's still via negative. Okay. So, uh, but, thank you for the answer. This, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> na, na, na click ko na sagot, no? This is via positive kasi this is your uh, this is your os, no? Ito na mute o oh, after the application of cervic of, of acetic acid, no? So medyo na mute. So this is via positive, no? Um, it's a good I I can share you this uh Quan slides later on, no? Uh, and then how about this? Is this via negative or via positive? Thank you for the answer, sa. I'm really appreciative for you know for 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 um for um you know for 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 participating you know 
So, okay, I'll, I'll click na, no? So, this is practically via positive, no? Kasi, these are ulcerative-like, cauliflower-like. So, this is practically suspicious na for cancer, no? So, yan for biopsy na automatically yan. Hindi yan for cryo muna. Okay. Now, I'd like to show you this video. This is a live video that uh, I got from the internet. And, and you know, yan. Good. Ganyan ang VL. So, they put a cotton with acetic acid. They smeared it doon. That's it. And they observe after one minute. So, yan. Yan ang tanong. Is that VIA positive, VIA negative, or suspicious for cancer? May automatic na sagot na yan. So, I, I, I would not answer that. And there are reasons why am I doing this. No? Why am I... Why, why am I, there is a point that I would like to share. Why, uh, why am I asking you this? No? So, konti na lang. Uh, antay lang ng konti. So, there. So, this is via positive. No? You know, kit, nakita niya. No? Kahit maliit lang, hindi pansin. No? When you magnify, no? that's, a, that's a positive. That's a CIN. No? So, okay. Now, the question is this. Kung kayo ba, I will give you the opportunity to actually learn for about one month. Will you be confident enough to, to actually read, interpret? O kaya, baka mahirapang ka sa tanong, no? Ganito na lang, no? I'll, 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 ano. Kung kayo yung pasyente, kasi most of the uh, televiewers are um, females, no? If you were the, the patient, no? Will you allow yourself to be subjected to a midwife to do the via and they will interpret it for you, No? Considering that these midwives learned for about one month. Now, I don't want your answer, but I'm just trying to drive a point. So here is, the, here is my point. Now, the fact remains that 11 of our Filipino women are dying each day. You know? And that the fact that we have problems and we cannot control this, and that is one of the reasons why the Department of Health are employing a specialized type of midwives, you know, practically, to, to, to go out in areas where there are no doctors, no? At least to reduce this number. Actually, bumaba na yung number na yan, eh, no? In, 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 in fairness, no? So, uh, but why is it so, no? Why is, we, we need to understand din kasi, why is it so that there are still so many um, cervical cancer going on in spite of the fact that this is preventable, no? So one is, ito, no? Uh, oops, let me just move this. Uh, okay. So in 2001, no, the, the World Health Organization surveyed Philippines. No, they reported they have a 7.7 percent dismal uh, Pap smear coverage in Filipinos. Ibig sabihin 7.7 lang ang nagpapa Pap smear sa Filipino edad 18 to 69 years old. No, another causes of failure is this one is by the University of Health. Uh, health also, uh, sorry, Philippines and Department of Health. No. They said lack of awareness. Wala daw, uh, hindi daw takot ang mga ta uh, I mean, walang, walang kaalaman yung mga taong iba, no? Hindi rin nila alam na yung cervical cancer is curable, no? Hindi rin, uh, kulang din tayo sa mga doktor, no? And that's one of the reasons. Of course, kulang din tayo sa mga facilities. And mainly, lack of follow-up. Kasi hindi na nila alam kung kailan sila huling nagpapap smear, no? And then lastly, of course, we do not have an HPV uh, vaccine program. Hindi tayo katulad ng Australia because we have we have uh, they have the money to, to do it, no? But are we? Do you think we we have the money to to actually vaccinate the entire country? Let us let us see, no? Okay, the estimated population between ten to twenty four years old. So yun yung catch group mo, no? It's about thirty million, no? And then you will give need to give them three types of uh, three vaccines, doses of vaccines, no? Considering yung pinakamura na Cervarix, no? That's 3,000 each, 9,000 per patient. That's 278 billion pesos just for vaccines alone. And you have to do that yearly. Now, can we do it or not? Yan, yan yung tanong. So, if the answer is no, bilang tayo ay mga organization, bilang tayo mga doktor, bilang tayo mga, uh, you know, since most of the viewers are leaders, you know, in our own organization, how can we actually help? What would be your goal if you were put in as an assistant uh, health secretary? No? So, of course, you, you can say, well, 
doc, you know, we have to increase cervical awareness. Well, that's easy. You know, you can just put it online. You can do vaccination awareness. Yes, we can also do a, a, a digital marketing on cervical cancer prevention. That cancer, cervical cancer, is preventable. Yeah, yes, you can do that. You can do follow up online, no, and then you can also do. Um, uh, you can also increase, you know, encourage independent uh, screening facilities. Yes. But how can you increase the number of doctors? Can you? I don't think so. No. So this is why, this is, the, this is our topic is mainly, can telecervical uh, cancer be done? My answer is yes. No? We actually came up with a solution late in December and we called a mobile application called Cervic. No? So Cervic. So what is Cervic? No, Cervic is uh, this is a mobile app that actually in, uh, empowers no midwives no uh, nurses no uh, to perform cervical cancer screening. Sila lang ang magperform pero hindi sila ang mag-interpret. Okay? Now imagine these are midwives in Marawi. They can conduct cervical cancer screening. Now they will take a picture of the cervix, no? Yung mga pinakita ko naman sa inyo kanina, these are all pictures, no? In fact, we did a study, no, about this. Uh, in Tondo Medical Center, uh, these are the these are the actual photo, no? So this was this was a case wherein picture was done prior, no? So cervix native, no? So, ibig sabihin, wala pang ginawa pagkabukas ng speculum, kita kagad picture ka agad. Then ito nilinis 'yon, no? Nilinis ng normal saline solution. Again, pinicture na naman. And then, nilagyan ng acetic acid. And this turned out to be parang cauliflower-like. So parang, ano to? This is via positive suspicious for malignancy. No? So, pagkakuha ng picture ng midwife, papadala saan? Papadala sa doktor. Yung doktor nasaan? Nasa Manila, nasa restaurant, kumakain. No? Oh, nabasa niya. Negative. He, he can answer it directly be it via negative, via positive, or suspicious for cancer. He sends a report automatically. The app sends back a legitimate report doon, doon sa, sa mga nurses on, in Marawi. They can just print it. No? Once they print it, they can send it over to the patient. No? So that is the proposal. No? That is what is cervix all about. Now, what is, what is cervix? Okay, itatabi ko lang again ito. Okay, cervix is... It has a secure, no? The app has a built-in electronic medical record, no? That would include yung past history ng pasyente. It actually, uh, any, everything no? on, on the patient side is there, no? Uh, it can carry downloadable videos, no? For non-physicians, no? Bakit? Kasi we want to standardize cervical awareness. How do you promote cervical awareness? By just speaking, you will forget, no? Videos are the Perfect. So, itong app na to will have a downloadable uh, feature. No, they will send video, and they and then you will ask the patients and the patient's family to practically watch the video to tell them the importance of cervical cancer screening and 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 HPV infection, uh, and uh, HPV yes, human papilloma virus. Of course. This has to go through the PCS or the Philippine Cancer Society and the OH, and we are actually working on that. Of course, this is also this app also has an online training for non-physicians, no? Like the mga pinakita ko are just some of the tip of the iceberg samples, no? Uh, they also need to have a uh, sort of uh, a process, no? An accreditation process. They have to take an exam whether they be qualified to actually perform. No, the cervical cancer screening. No? And then, doctors, the doctor side naman, they will have cervical atlases, yung mga pinakita ko sa inyo. Up-to-date news on cervical cancer screening, lalo na, <coughs> I'm sorry, on cervical cancer infections, what are the treatment ba? How can you detect? How do you, how do you differentiate bacterial vaginosis from gonorrhea? You know, all, all this stuff, no? Of course, we talked about this, uh, digital via report, dapat able to send. We even have an option no, for electronic prescription, no, which we are doing practically now as I am part of the Department of Health Telemedicine. No? And thank you for that. No, for, uh, uh, also, This also has a push notifications, meaning to say patients are notified through SMS. No? When are they expected to go back? No? So the day they will get the, the text that says, within this week, po, you are required to go and take your yearly 
uh, smear as well as to the non-physician na gumawa, they have to also get that information just in case the patient lost the his cell phone number the the the, the, the pwede siyang balikan nung non-physician no merong record yan also ito ang pinaka importante ito ang nagustuhan ng mga nakausap ko mga doktor no this this is a retrievable data how many times have you gone through a, a, a chest x-ray pumunta ka sa doktor anong sabi niya asan ang plaka because i wanted to see it asan yung plaka 2 years ago because i wanted to see it no because they want what they want comparison no and of course a payment gateway there is in anything that we do there must be an allowable some uh, allowable uh, donation or some sort of payment you know so doctors when they interpret it, this these images they need sort of compensation so we have already prepared for that now who will be our target users no our target users, yung kinuwento ko sa inyo kanina, no? yung, independent, yung independent practicing midwife, no? na kunwari nasa Marawi, no? wala namang doktor doon, so they can use this. No? Sino pa? Yung mga nasa laboratory. No? How many times pumunta ka sa laboratory? Nagpa-CBC ka, nagpa-ultrasound ka, nagpa-chest x-ray ka, and then pipila ka lang and in, in, a, in a span of 3 hours, 4 hours, you get your result. How about cervical cancer? Sabihin sa iyo, ma'am wala ho kami niyan or ma'am wala po kaming doktor na available today. See? So again, health center, the same thing. Imagine mo, lahat ng health center sa buong Pilipinas, merong cellphone na ganito who are able to picture cervix and able to send to doctors. Don't you think that will that 11 people dying in the Philippines will decrease? Also lying in clinics, the same thing as you know as doc as in the laboratories. Minsan hindi naman tumatambay dyan yung doctor. Minsan nag opera sila, and sometimes doctors then. This is interesting, no? I I I will talk about this later, no? Uh, talaga doctor they will really need this doctor na sila. Yes, they do, no? Okay, they all have to do what? They all have to do digital cervicography. Ano ba yung digital pwe? Ano ba yan? Digital cervicography na yan. Okay. Well, digital cervicography, ito yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. No? Cervicography is a diagnostic medical procedure in which a non-physician takes pictures of the cervix and submit them to a physician. No? For, for what? For interpretation. Okay. Yan. So, once they do that, they can now refer to different levels of doctors. Remember, meron tayong diplomate, Pag nag-take ka ng exam pa, pagiging fellow siya, another three years in the training or two years in the training, pwede na siyang maging specialista ng mga cervic pathology or PSCPC or pwede kang mag-training ng oncology, no? SGOP naman ng, ano, fellow ka naman ng SGOP, no? Or mag-train ka naman ng infection, uh, you know, another one year or two years yata, I am not very sure. May fellow ka na ng PINSOB, no? Or the Philippine Infectious Diseases Society of OBGYNs, no? So, what is this? There are some sort of leveling. Minsan, yung doktor, ano lang eh, diplomate lang eh. I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not saying diplomate lang, no? Diplomate. And sometimes, occasionally, no? She has a, uh, 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 um, a case of uh, somewhat very difficult to understand. She can always refer it to PC, PSCPC fellow, no? And then, that PSCPC fellow will practically uh, interpret it for her, negative, pos either negative, positive, or suspicious malignancy. Or they can even refer, no, for, for uh, a medical prescription, no? By giving, uh, especially in cases where there is STD, no? Yung mga ganon, no? Yun lang ba? Oh, hindi, hindi lang yun, no? Itong app na to can also give you treatment facility location. No? Kung ikaw ay pasyente, saan ka ba makakakuha ng, 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 ng cryotherapy, kunwari, no? Uh, saan ba pinakamalapit sa'yo? It will, it will point out what centers are nearest to you. It also points out charitable institutions. Kaya kayo, kung kayo ay mga member, kayong mga leaders, no? You can put your services then with using this app. So what's next, no? Uh, alam alam na natin na ikaw ay uh, via positive, no? Ano ngayon? Uh, Mag-aantay ka na lang ba? Of course hindi, no? Uh, we have this program, no? Hindi kami, but it's a World Health Organization program. We call it 
and as well the as well as the Department of Health program, we call it the single visit approach or the screen and treat or the see and treat. So, ano ba ito? Ang ibig sabihin nito is once you see a patient with HPV positive, you can actually direct him or her, sorry, to cryotherapy direct na after, no? Are there expert panel recommendations on this? Yes. This is coming from a recommendation coming from the World Health Organization. Of course, ang sinasabi niya, ang strategy ng World Health Organization is gusto niya HPV testing muna. Pero alam mo, hindi natin kaya ito eh because this is very expensive, no? Uh, you, you cannot do that, no? And that, uh, so what they recommend is in cases that you do not have HPV testing is not feasible. You can just do screen with VIA. Yung VIA, yung pinakita ko sa inyo. And then treat. Treat with what? With cryotherapy. Kung, kung po pwede, no? Kung, kung kaya. Or otherwise, you refer it to the other procedures. Now, another recommendation. Uh, just try to look at this, no? Use a strategy of VIA and treat. Over. So, mas higit pa, no? Doon sa cytology followed by colposcopy. So sinabi niya, mas gawin niyo na yung VIA and treatment kesa mag-pap smear ka at i-call po mo at saka i-treat mo. Mas gugustuhin namin VIA versus pap smear. No? But these are recommendations. No? Uh, in countries considering the program, where, where the program na pap smear and VIA are available. Yun ang ibig sabihin. Why is this so? It's because Pag nag-via ka kasi, nag-positive, ginamot mo na, no? Tinreat mo na with colposcopy. Ano ang feeling mo? What, what am I driving at? Ang feeling mo should be happy. Why? Because you have already saved a life of a person. Okay? Kasi, pag yan, sa tingin mo, yung tao na yan, babalik pa yan sa'yo, hindi na. Dapat itreat mo na agad. Pag natreat mo yan, you have already saved a life of a person. Remember that. Now, are there evidences dito sa sinasabi ko sa app na to? Eh, doktor, baka naman katang-isip mo lang yan, no? no? Uh, kanta ng Ben and Ben. Hindi, no? Okay. Before I answer that, I'd like you to, to, to actually look at this, no? Ito, on the left side, is the vantage point. Ito yung nakikita ng operator when you are doing a, a, a via, no? So, Kita mo, detailed ba yung analysis? Whereas, this is a picture, an image we got from our study, no? dun sa Tondo Medical Center we did last year. no? Clear. no? Now, question. Sa tingin mo, kung ikaw ang mag interpret alin ang mas gugustuhin mong i-interpret? Yung nasa kaliwa or of course, or yung nasa kanan? Well, that's your answer. I will respect whatever answer you, you have. no? So, just to answer yung kanina, yes, it is not a katang isip. There is this mobile ODT which was launched in 2016, 2015, I think. This is made in Israel and this has been today approved in 29 countries, uh, also being approved in the U.S. healthcare system in 15. No? They are using an old phone, a Samsung J. No? Luma na yan, that's a phone. No? But their business is different. Ang business nila is to actually sell. No? And look at the price. Do you think if we have uh, 1 million barangay, do we have this amount of money to actually buy that product? I don't think so. No? Just to be sure that this is a phone, ito yung kanilang schematic diagram. No? What did they do? It's just a phone. They just put a lens. Bakit? But because during the time na S, S, uh, Samsung J, yung mga, yung mga lens doon, hindi pa katulad ng mga Huawei na makukuha mo na P30 ngayon. No? Yung P30 ngayon can, can even uh, 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 tele-zoom up to 50 times. No? So look at that. It's just the lens. It's just the battery. It's just a phone. It's just a handle. Okay, wala pa ba? Wala na bang iba? Meron pa. This one is something new. No? I just picked it up uh, a week ago. This was published in Korea. It was something to do in 2019. They called it Dr. Servicam C20. No? It's a portable camera. Camera siya no? na, na merong uh, malaking monitor. So again, their business is business to sell. Of course, yung cost nito baka mababa ng kaunti compared to the mobile ODT. No? And then... Um, where are we today? Where is Cervic today? Well, 
We started in December uh, 20, uh, 2019. MC, wala ka na dito. I think you left out at, 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 when, when we started to do uh, taking a picture, no? And then we were also have a gynec top gynecologic oncologist in the country. This is Dr. Cecilia Liave as our consultants, no? Um, this is Dr. Cynthia Tan. This is Wilhelmina Rivera, no? These are, uh, okay. And then we've also partners with other companies like Smart, no? Uh, Smart, why? Because we need the Huawei phone because they will be providing the, 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 the clients, no? Kayo, hindi naman sa amin kayo bibili sa kanila na, no? But it's a special deal, package para mura, no? Um, also, when you go to Mindoro, uh, there, where there are no internet, how can you perform this? No, we have also partnered with WIT or ito yung Philsat. These are they are the top uh, broad no satellite uh, satellite internet in the country. No, and also we partnered with uh, the Philippine Cancer Society. This is Dr. Romy, no, uh, Director Romy. Uh, he's he is on the patient navigation. We also did already a per. Uh, uh, um, uh, testing, no, a uh, beta testing of the app, no. Uh, ito, ito yung app, hawak ng isang kasamahan namin, no. Uh, this was in um, Barangay Holy Spirit. Was this was in February 14? Ito yon. So yung, uh, okay. Uh, if not for COVID, I could have gone. I, I could have spent my whole April going northern Luzon, trying to go from Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, Nueva Vizcaya, Isabela to Guegarao, promoting. Uh, this uh, this this sur the cervical screening, no, it's promoting cervical awareness, no, but may COVID eh, wala, wala kami magawa. And this is part of uh, along with the Philippine Cancer Society, no. Of course, we need to come up with uh, awareness also presentation. So just in case you want me as a uh, as a presenter sa club ninyo, maybe now we can no longer do this face-to-face uh, -face presentation. Maybe through webinar. I am encouraging you just uh, hook with me. I'll send be sending you my email later on. Uh, this is the, um, President uh, J um, James Jimenez of, from the Rotary Club of Manila South. Of course, these are my classmates. When I say classmates, these are classmates in Rotary you know, because I was once a president about a year or two years ago. Uh, these are my support group. You know? uh, this is my governor and this is uh, Paolo Bidiones. This is uh, Governor Bidiones and, her, and, her, and his wife, Lady Sharon. Uh, I've also gone out of several districts, you know, 3770. This is the governor, uh, Governor John Alonso. Uh, okay. And then I've also uh, come up with other, in Bulacan also, RC Plata del Cristal. This is uh, 3770 and also expanded to JCI, Manilenia. Uh, Sylvester, hi. Uh, I know you're here. Um, so I guess that's it, no? Just to summarize, no? Uh, this uh, Cervical cancer is a public health problem. It's the second most common cancer in Filipino women which tantamounts to deaths of 10, 11 each day. In, in spite of that, this is a preventable cancer by anti-HPV vaccine and cervical cancer screening. HPV vaccine is, can be given as early as age 9 to 26. Cervical cancer screening age 20, starts on age 21 down to 65 and above. Cervic, I think, is a promising app that can perform telecervical screening. Uh, and uh, I guess that's it. Thank you so much. If you need um, assistance, you can write to this and you can connect with me. I'll, I'll connect with you soon. And I guess that's it. You can find more information at our mission and cervical cancer ph. Wala itong dot. And cervical cancer ph.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Doc Bo. So, uh, hindi, hindi po to exclusive Rotary event. It's really just an awareness given that this month uh, May, of May is uh, can, uh, National Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. Tama, Doc? Yes. This, Correct. Yeah, okay. Correct. Yeah. So, if you have any questions, I've actually allowed you to, uh, to speak. You can unmute yourself if you have any questions. Yeah, can oh. I uh, ask question? Sure. Yes. Sure. Make Bauer, Joe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Joe from Australia. How are you? Yeah. How are Good. You? Thank you. 
Yes, so yeah, I've got questions, no? Sure. Uh, sa, sa mga sa acetate uh, screening and you said yes. when the result is positive, you can go straight to cryotherapy. Are they free? Yes, that's the recommendation. Are Sorry? they free? Are they free? Libre ba to? Yes. Uh, okay. Here, here is the thing. No? That is why we're, we're doing this. No? One, the Philippine Cancer Society are not being tapped as much as possible. And through, through this, uh, we, we, we want to maximize utilization of free cryotherapy. I also would want to promote to Rotarians out there no? to have your own mm-hmm. cervical cancer screening in your communities. No? We put this all together. We reduce the 11 Filipino women dying each day. And um, oh, another yeah. question. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. My, my question, Paco, because you mentioned about the, I, you got the, um, you got the, um, you know, the, uh, um, ano ba to yung midwife from Marawi, sabi mo, and they do the acetate screening. Now, example if, lang, yeah. Example. Oh, oh, example lang okay. yun. Yeah, that's an example. Okay. So, if they're very far away from the PGH, right? And um, right. if they, the acetate screening is positive, um, yeah. and how can they be followed up? And if possible, do they need to go somewhere to, for follow-up that they will spend money? Because I, I know that in the Philippines, money is very hard to find. So uh, that, that, if they're from in the remote area, how can they go to the uh, central area for okay. follow-up? Okay. The, 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 normally, when, when you get these patients, no, and they are via positive, no? so ikwento ko lang. No? So one, if she needs cryotherapy and then wala, wala sa area niya, remember the app points to the direction, where is the nearest cryotherapy facility na malapit sa kanya? Because the doctors will be the ones to recommend it. Kasi the doctors, when they see this, like for example, meron siyang via, uh, via positive na suspicious for, for malignancy. Ang gamot hmm. doon is either magbabiopsy ka, I know, uh, refer to a gynecologic oncologist na kaagad for, you know, for, for other things. No? Ang tanong yeah, is saan malapit. Yeah, will be free so, ba? Yes, yes. The, the app yeah. will be free. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean the, the the payment for uh, like follow up to a uh, uh, more pap smear and gynecologist. Do they have to? Is that it will be free or do they have to pay? Because yan ang ang yung napapansing ko sa atin na if it's they have to pay, they won't be bothered. Okay, there will be there will be two forms. There will be partners who will come in later on you know, that will provide this for free. You know? We are talking mm-hmm. now to philanthropists you know, who will be, we will give this technology to them you know, to get it for free. You know? But then again, you have to remember that doctors on the doctor side, naman, you know? I'm speaking about the doctors, they cannot be free all, all this time. But of course, there will be free na ilang araw, but for the rest, mm-hmm of their use, you know, there will, there must be some form of payment pa rin naman. So, ang, ang, the answer is, there will always be a free section which will be, got, which will be promoted by Rotarians, by JCI, by other organizations because mm-hmm. I will be making myself available to all, to all organizations, you know, just to make this possible. Make the goal of ending cervical cancer in the Philippines possible. So there's another okay. question. I sure. sorry ma'am. Yeah, so there's no, no, a question from Ron. No. Uh, yeah. Thanks ma'am Jo. There's a question from Ronnie. Uh, can cervix be removed and if removed will it eliminate the cancer? Yes, it can. No. So okay, I I ko lang no. Now. Um the treatment of the cervix kasi is different, no? Uh, I mean, it, it depends upon the stage, no? Remember, I mentioned earlier, no? You have the precancerous stage. The precancerous stage is yung HPV infection, 
gumagawa ng changes doon sa epithelial cells pa lang no ng ng kwan no ng 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 ano mo ng ng cervix mo no you don't need agad-agad na removal of the cervix no no ang kailangan mo lang is practically you can do sunugin mo no parang cautery no uh, but uh, it's not much recommended what is recommended is the uh, cryotherapy now cryotherapy may, may pagka lumagpas ka naman pag lumagpas naman dun sa i- ibang areas hindi mo na pwedeng i-cryo may mga operational procedures na pwede nang gawin no na pwede na silang da, doktor na dapat to so dapat may refer na dapat sila for for pwedeng uh, removal lang ng cervix no yung cervix lang no hindi pa extensive hindi naman buong removal of the uterus hindi pa naman ganoon no so depend the treatment is dependent upon on the stage no are there any other questions mc MC, Teacher Beth. Yes, Teacher Teacher Beth, yes. Oo. Uh, Doon sa mga ganyan, di ba, puro cervical cancer screening, ganyan. Can we have that as awareness? Can we invite uh, Dr. Boggs uh, in behalf of mga DepEd, mga yes. principal, supervisors? Siyempre, yung awareness na yan, dapat ibababa mo na sa mga bata. So, yes. yung prevention yes. yan is very important. Yes. Diba? Sabi mo nga, yes. 9 to 13 years old, yung dapat, ano dyan, yes. yung vaccine yan. E yes. meron namang mga yan, may yes. yaman ng mga schools. If they exactly. can afford, exactly. mga 3,000 exactly. pesos, yes. mga ganyan. Yes. So, yeah. pwede siguro susulatan namin kayo, doctor, in behalf of our superintendent now, para... Sure. Okay ba yun? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Po, teacher Beth. Thank you. Yes, po. Thank you, po. Thank you. Yeah. Doc, there's also a question from Tep. Uh, hi, Doc. Uh, thank you for your insightful discussion. Question, are those with PCOS highly at risk of cervical cancer? Aha. Uh-huh. This is an OB question. I am an oncologist. Uh, I, 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 I'm not so sure, no? I have to get back uh, uh, with them. Uh, this is a uh, hormonal thing, no? That I, uh, I don't think so. But my answer is I don't think so, but I am not very, very sure. Mainly because my specialty is only involves, revolves around, around, you know, around oncology lang, no? Uh, Correct, yeah. An, uh, an OB, no? An OB would be the best uh, person to, to answer that. Pero my, my, in, my, my insight says no. Tapos, yeah, Doc, there's also another question. How much does it cost when diagnosed with cervical cancer? Can you give an estimate amount? And how long is the process? Okay, for we have four stages. Stage one is limited only to the cervix. No? Um, the treatment is mainly removal of the cervix, the uterus, and the paramitria. You have two doctors there. You have an OB and you have a gynecologic oncologist. I'd say around 200,000 or 300,000. No? Now, when you become stage 1B2, no, that's already major bulky in advanced stage, you need me. You need radiation oncology, you need chemotherapy, you need uh, brachytherapy. Again, that's around 300 to 500,000. Now, compare your 500,000 to regular screening and regular uh, and, reg- and, and anti-HPV. Uh, si, yeah, si J- Jeline Doc has a cu- question. Regarding serving sure, sure, sure. app security, will the images be saved on the phone? What about if the phone gets lost? Security Ay. question on the app. Oh, oh, well, well, that's a, that's a, thank you, no? That's a very nice question. That's a very okay. good question. No. Yes, security. That's a very good question. That's a very good question. <laughs> Actually, we have a security protocol on that already in place. No? We, we, we have, what is the security protocol in place? So number one, when you, you cannot download the app through uh, Android, no? yung, yung Google, uh, through, through the internet. No? You have, as a, as a nurse, as a midwife, you have to first apply directly to Cervic. No? Then you have to take exams. There is an accreditation process. There is a uh, an actual process where we find you competent enough to perform the, the procedure. That's the time we give you the hand over you the cell phone plus the app. 
Now, the app is handed to you mainly because because of this this question, because the app is mod is modified. Now we actually collaborated with Smart Philippines in a sense that yung pag nagpicture ka sa cellphone saan pumupunta, di ba? Either pag sa iPhone it goes to the gallery, di ba? Pag Android pumupunta sa I can't remember because uh, iPhone user ako. Uh, sa doon kung narin sabi natin gallery pa rin. okay? So if that is so. Pag ginamit mo tong app na to, it does not reside there. It resides on the cloud. So there is no way kahit mawala mo yan, mawala mo yan, no one can tamper yung evidences of images mo. No? Because those are private thing, parts. No? Number two, kapag nawala mo yan, parang yung credit card. No? In a sense na we will give you a number. No, na ito ang tatawagan mo. Pag nawala mo yan, pag tinawagan mo yung hotline na yun, automatically, i-disbar nila yung account mo. So even, kasi di ba, frequent yan eh sa atin na we don't, we don't hide or we don't put a password on our cell phone. So to prevent that, ang ginagawa namin, when you call us, we automatically delete your account. Apply ka na lang ng panibago so that we know. Thank you. For your questions, are there any other questions? Ah, meron siyang follow up, Doc. Uh, you oh, mentioned sorry. a while sure. ago that that people forgot when was the last time they had their pop smear. The Cervic yes. app has a not notification function para ma remind you mga patients. Yes, yes. Y you would not believe me, but I will tell you. Uh, we have a network gateway. No? What is a network gateway? I'm sure. Or, ano kayo, miyembro kayo ng Landers, miyembro kayo ng, uh, what else, uh, miyembro kayo ng Landers, ng SNR, di ba? Sometimes mapapansin mo, meron kang text, sabihin mo, Uy, from Landers, may automatic sale. We have that gateway. No? What, we, what we meant is, when you enter your name dun sa app, at alam namin kung kailan ka nagawa, in one year time, we will send that number automatically. Hindi na, kami, hindi na manual yon. It's an automatic thing. It's the gateway that uh, it's a it's a system in a gateway co in combination that automatically sends. So we, we that is that is ano that is automatic sa amin. That is part of the app service na ng app yon. Ayan, how long do you keep the records of the patient? Question from Ronnie. Um, we keep it up. Uh, we are required by, by the Philippine Digital Law. So we have to keep medical records as as long as 15 years. And this is why uh, um, we need funding then, no? Because to maintain a server for 15 years, and Michelle, Michelle alam mo how, how, how much it, that would cost, no? So yeah. uh, we need, um, so 15 years is the, is the answer, 15 years. Uh, meron po live, ano tayo, Doc, is cervical cancer hereditary? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's, uh, again, it's 99.7% uh, infection. Okay. Wala na, wala na. Doc, maybe in the future, we can have collaboration of campaign awareness with us. JC, I, Yumus, Halige. Just like this webinar. Yeah. Of course, yeah. of course. I I've, uh, I've uh, you know, I've opened up myself to this, you know, because I think this is, this is, this is what we can give the Filipino people, like, you know, this is a solution, you know, trying to reduce the number of deaths in our mothers, you know, these are not just criminals, you know? these are our, these are, are our mothers, you know, we're talking about. So we want to give them the best care. Yes. Yeah. So, Doc, there's an anonymous attendee question, and you can answer it live. Mm -hmm. Can you mm -hmm. get it even? Can you get it even if you're not sexually active or a virgin? Well, uh, the pathophysiology of HPV infection is mainly skin to skin. No? If there is a skin, na may HPV with that high risk type, no, and by any chance. You know, um, it touched you on your genitalia, no? So that's not sexual intercourse. I don't know. No, it's, it's not part of sexual intercourse, diba? 
So, you can get it there. No? You can get it there. Kung... Yeah, so, so to those that are uh, not sexually active in the call, I'm sure you know who you are. Um, so, you can still get it even if you're not sexually active. I think that's the answer. Uh, you, yes. you mentioned that in Australia, they also vaccinate boys. Why? Yes. Because they are the carriers. They are the carriers of, uh, you know, the infection is transmitted sexually. So from girls to boys, boys to other girls, and then, you know, other girls to other boys, you know. All, all, so it's, it, it becomes a loop. So eh, that, that, that's, that's the first question. The second, the second is, that's the first answer. The second answer is, remember, HPV can also cause anal cancer in men and women can also keep, uh, cause penile cancer in 50% in men, can also cause oral and mouth and oropharyngeal cancer in both male and female. So when you have that vaccine, you will not get this and you will not get the others, the other cancers as well. Limited. Thank you. Thank you. So there's another question we will answer live. Hi, Doc. Uh, I'm a young Rotaractor. Is there any chance that we can extend the awareness caravan to universities? Sure. Uh, sure. Yeah. I will be part of you. I mean, I can join you. I can uh, participate you on this, on how we can extend this. You know, we, we really need to create a noise. No? Um, I am just one person. Imagine if I can do this on my own. The more we can do this, if we are all, you know, we are more, no? the more we can change Philippines. We can help okay. Filipinos. Okay, there are no more open questions. In the interest of time, I think we can, we can say goodbye, but would like to thank everyone. So I'm, I'm MC Manila Metro. This is a public, uh, public uh, service. We are trying to do a disease prevention during the anniversary of the National Cancer uh, cervical Cancer Awareness Month, uh, May 1. So because we cannot do workshops anymore, so this is our ECQ edition so that we still <laughs> hopefully continue. We have to, sure. hope, we hope to continue the disease prevention project. So this is, uh, this is a pilot and we hope we can uh, have more webinar series in the future that will, will really help others. And we hope this has been insightful for everyone. We'd, I would like to personally thank uh, Doc Boggs for attending and for all the uh, for hosting um, and sharing your your thoughts uh, around this and and all the other participants rotaractors our young friends outside rotary and of course my classmates and other clubs thank you so much for participating and we will probably send you recording especially for those that uh, dropped out of the call yeah. because of signal yes. uh, it's this is recorded the meeting is recorded this is a webinar series and it I think it's also on Facebook live. With that, thank you so much and have a long weekend uh, quarantine thank you. celebration. Maraming maraming salamat. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good.